Perfect You presents seven signs you will die soon. Death is inevitable, but have you ever wondered what it would feel like 24 hours before you die? This is a very tricky question, but I'm sure everyone thinks about it once in a while. We are all humans after all. Many animated movies convert a severe topic like death into humor, so maybe it feels less complicated when it comes. But what do you really know about death? Well, without further ado, let's dig into 7 signs you will die soon. You know, death is never easy. Each person's journey is unique, and each survivor's healing process is unique too. Whether you're a caregiver looking after a dying loved one, or a person who knows your time on Earth is coming to an end because of illness or age, learning what to expect as a natural death nears can help you be better prepared. It can also give you time to make decisions for comfort and relief. Number 1. Sleeping more The first sign that you're going to die is sleeping more. When a person is in the last stages of his life, he has no energy to wake up. Their metabolism gets extremely slow, and they don't feel like doing anything, let alone waking up. Many factors can play a role in this. If they are an old person, they might be on the verge of dying, and this would be the most prominent sign. They will always be fatigued, annoyed, and not even able to walk. In the final days before their demise, their muscles can become extremely weak, which will not allow them to get up from their bed. The weakening of muscles and not performing their day-to-day -day functions is a vital sign that you or your loved one is about to take his or her final breaths. Number 2. Changing Vital Signs in the Body our body has some vital organs which have to be healthy for us to function properly and be alive. When death is near, major organs like your heart or your kidney will stop performing at a normal pace. This might result in you having low blood pressure and irregular heartbeats that are hard to detect. It will also affect the color of your urine which may turn tan or brown colored and you might feel pain in places you didn't know existed. This will also affect the functions in the body which eliminate wastes, which will in turn result in a loss of appetites. A poor appetite will lead to smaller and irregular bowel movements. After eating and drinking stop completely, they might not use the restroom at all. People who are near death may not even be interested in eating or drinking their favorite foods. Blood circulation draws inward toward your vital organs in the final days. That means blood circulation in places like your hands, feet, and legs is greatly reduced. That can lead to skin and limbs that feel cool to the touch. The skin may appear pale too. Eventually, the reduced circulation may cause the skin to take on a mottled blue-purple look. You can now check for these signs in you or your loved one's body and know if the clock is ticking or not. Number 3. Withdrawing from people when people are experiencing near-death symptoms, they tend to isolate themselves from other people. Deep down, they have this feeling that they are soon going to cross over to the next phase, and therefore, they prefer protecting their energy in their last hours. You may notice that the conversations are getting fewer each day, and the responses are very limited. It is very common for people to not see their friends and family for days before they are going to die. This can also connect to changes in their body before their death as their muscles tend to grow very weak, which leaves them with no energy to socialize anymore. If a person is unable to get up from their bed, how will they have a normal conversation with anyone? Have you ever noticed this symptom in one of your loved ones who passed away? Let us know in the comment section below. Another possibility is that they might be confused. The brain remains active while they are dying, but it is very common in people to become confused about where they are and what they are doing. Some people may become restless or aggressive if they cannot figure out what they are doing. Number 4. Hallucinations This takes us to our fourth sign, which is hallucinations and is similar to the state of confusion that we talked about earlier. You may have heard of dying people saying that they see long gone loved ones in their final days. Hallucinations and visions of other places or people aren't uncommon either. While it may be upsetting, don't try to correct your loved one. Arguing over what's real and what isn't will only cause confusion and frustration. Instead, ask them questions and help them understand what they're seeing. 
This may seem as if you or your loved one has taken a lot of drugs and are now enjoying a trip to the most beautiful valley on earth, but this is not the case. The final stages before death cause certain chemicals to be released in your brain that have similar impacts. These are the moments when your loved ones might need the most care because they are the most vulnerable and weak in these stages. Be sure to look for these signs so that you can spend their final moments not being confused about what is happening to your loved one. Number five, pain. The intensity of pain will likely increase as a person becomes closer to death. It's not uncommon for a person to show visible signs that they're in pain. These signs include grimacing, wincing, groaning, or scowling. Most pain can be treated, but this may require people to be in a hospital or nursing care facility. Dying people may stop being able to swallow, so an IV line may be necessary to deliver pain medicine. This medicine must be administered in a hospital. They become unable to tolerate much pain as their immunity system grows weaker, and they become unable to handle any sort of pain during the last stages before their death. Number six, breathing troubles. It is an alarming sign for many people as they sit with a beloved one who's dying. These breathing fluctuations may include changing in breathing patterns, sudden gasps for air, or long periods between breaths. While labored breathing may seem painful or problematic to you, your loved one likely isn't aware of what's happening. Some pain medications can make breathing easier, so talk to your loved one's doctors and care providers about ways to ease breathing or coughing. The pulse might become difficult to feel, and the breathing becomes extremely slow, so much so that it feels like the person in front of you is not breathing at all. When this person falls asleep, you might want to keep checking on them. As their breathing gets slower and their body grows colder, it can be hard to decipher whether the person is dead or alive. Number seven, not being able to open their eyes. When a person is in the final stages of their life, their eyes might change color and they will not be able to keep them open fully. Their eyes might stay partially shut, which is a clear sign that they are going to die. You might want to look for this particular sign when checking if your loved one is about to die because, as they say, eyes never lie, so they won't either. In a person's final hours and minutes, their body is slowly shutting down and their organs stop working entirely. The only thing you can do in these last few minutes is help them be comfortable and feel loved. Surround yourself and your loved one with the friends and family that they care about the most. Don't stop talking to your loved one. Many dying people can still hear and understand what's happening. Help them feel comfortable by letting them know that they're surrounded by people who care for them. For some individuals, knowing they have people around them who care helps them to let go. Losing a loved one is never easy. Even when you know that death was coming and you've prepared yourself for it, it still hurts. In the first days and weeks after a loved one's death, take your time to acknowledge, embrace, and experience each emotion. When you're ready, seek out a support group. This can be friends and family, or you may want to seek professional help. Grief groups are common, and many hospitals host groups for grieving. Religious groups like churches or synagogues may offer individual or group counseling too. Grief is different for every person, so don't judge your process by that of another person. Find a group that feels comfortable and welcoming. Over time, you will come to treasure the memories of your loved one and look forward to new memories with the people that you still have. If you liked this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such content. Be sure to hit that bell icon so that you never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.